One of the theme scriptures that God gave us from early on is Matthew 22, 37 and 38. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength. And the, and the second commandment is like the first, love your neighbor as yourself. And, um, you know, prayer is not what we do in the house of prayer. That may sound strange, but prayer is actually who we are. We're lovers of God. And we use that love that we uh, receive back from God in, in love. We love him because he first loved us. And then we love others with that same love. And uh, as uh, evangelists, um, you know, the very source or the life flow of Jesus is his love for us. And um, so loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, that is prayer. Um, there's no other way to love him except through prayer. Um, there's various types of prayer. Um, there's, you know, presence prayer um, where we just like soaking prayer where we spend time in his presence and just receive. Um, there is, um, you know, intercession and there's, a, there's various different types uh, of prayer and prayer combined with worship and, and many different types of prayer. Um, but it all comes down to loving God, and um, it's out of that love, which is a reciprocal, a vertical relationship. I like I liken it to this sign, like, you know, this sign here, like this, is like loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loving our neighbor as ourself. It's a really good sign. It's a real central sign to what we do in the house of prayer. Uh, and um, this is passion. And this is compassion. Mm -hmm. And this is intimacy. And this is ministry. Mm -hmm. And this is prayer. And this is evangelism. Mm -hmm. So it's really out of this vertical relationship that we can pour out to others and see them come to Christ, whether that's through healing or deliverance. Um, just wanted to share that Jesus is the deliverer. And, you know, um, one, one day I, I, I walked back um, behind the house of prayer to see the deck that was being built and um, then as I was there I kind of forgot why I had come back to the house of prayer and because I had been at the university and then I suddenly turned around and there was a, a Muslim man there who was uh, quite distraught and began to share with me that he was um, stuck in his um, house with his hand stuck to the wall um, for over two hours and um, then I was able to share with him that um, he could receive freedom from that type of demonic activity if he had the spirit of Jesus within him and uh, and would he would he like to have that freedom and would he like to have that authority to set him free and he said yes and he received Christ and then he came into the house of prayer and um, we um, prayed for him to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he was speaking in other languages, in, in tongues, and um, giving God praise. And, uh, and uh, a house of prayer uh, is not just <clears throat> an activity, but a house of prayer is a lifestyle. And it's something that we walk out on a daily basis. Uh, it's not something that we just mm, choose to have a prayer meeting. Um, this is the traditional sort of thing that we grew up in where we would meet once a week for prayer and we'd have a prayer meeting. And at that prayer meeting, you know, one or two mature um, believers would pray on and on for 20 minutes and the rest of the people would fall asleep. Um, that is not what a house of prayer is about. A house of prayer is actually our lives um, being given to God. So prayer is not what we do. Prayer is who we are. And uh, I'm a lover of God. That's who I am. And I'm a deliverer of men. That's, that's my fruit. And so I think even evangelism, there's been a shift for us. Mm, evangelism is no longer what we do either. Evangelism is the fruit of our love for God. So we concentrate on loving God and our fruit is naturally evangelism because people want what we have. You know, the other day I received a call on the phone and the lady said to me, 
oh, sorry, it's a wrong number. And then the Holy Spirit said, no, it's not the wrong number. So I just said to her, I said, no, it's not the wrong number. And she says, what do you mean? It's not the wrong number. I said, well, I'm here to pray for you. And is there anything I can pray for you? And and she was distraught and she had three three children and she was to the end of her rope, sort of, so to speak. And that wrong, wrong number just turned into mm -hmm. uh, a prayer uh, where she received help. So again, I just want to say like, prayer is not what we do. Prayer is who we are. Mm -hmm. And a house of prayer experience is not something to do or to try out. A house of prayer experience is about surrender to a lifestyle of loving God with all our hearts, soul, mind, and strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.